Hello Emmett. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to add your own catalog. Uh, you can add a JPEG from maybe your camera or you can go online and get uh, the catalog that you want and put it in Pro 100. I'm going to go to this website here that I worked for before. It's called Timberlake.com. It's this one right here. And they do have different portfolio here. I'm just going to pick any just to show you how it's done. Now, before you start doing this, you want to go to um, um, you want to go to website download a program called paint.net. So, I'm just going to go there paint.net. And uh, you're gonna have to download this program. I've already downloaded mine. Uh, this program is very powerful. You can use it to manipulate images, especially JPEG. So since I already have mine, uh, I don't have to download it. Okay, I'm gonna copy this. You know, the Stow style, and then go to my Paint.net. This one here. This is my pin.net. So I just copied there. I'm, I'm gonna paste it. That's the first one. Okay, now I need to separate uh, the door and the drawer. So use this tool right here. Select this. That's the drawer. Control C to copy. Open a new one. That's the door, and then I'm gonna copy. Sorry, that's the drawer. Then I'll copy the door. This one here, and you don't have to make the images big, just small enough so that your program doesn't become bulky. Okay, I'm gonna Control V to paste. That's my door, and then I will also make uh, the wood material. For wood material, I'm just gonna copy right here because all I don't need the those style, I just need the material. Control C copy, put a new one. So that's my material. Okay, I will save them. File the first one. This is the wood material. I'm gonna file save us. Save us will take take you to a location. If you hit save, then you don't know where it's gonna go. So save us. And then I'm going to go to my C drive and then uh, go to where I have my Pro 100 I'm going to catalog texture. And I will create a new folder here called, I'll just name, give it my name, Emmanuel Textures. You can name it whatever you want. And this is where I'm going to name it. Make sure you change that to JPEG because you, you JPEG is very good to work with and then rename it that's the wood save hit OK and I'm gonna save the drawer file save us it will take me to where I've gone change the change the file extension to JPEG and give it drawer this name save Okay, then I'm gonna save the door file, save us, and that's the door. Make sure you don't you make sure you change the file extension to JPEG. Alright, there you go. Okay, I'm done. So I'm gonna close that and go back to my Pro 100. And if you go to textures here. I should have the Emmanuel textures that I just created and these are the ones. So now if I open any cabinet here, let's say American American frame, maybe work with our base cabinet, just any. Alright, I'm gonna take this one here. Oh, just zoom out a little bit. And this button here just makes you center that so you zoom in 
Okay, the first thing you want to do is uh, you might want to save uh, the countertop, but I'll show you how to do that later on. So I want to change the wood first. So I go to my textures, take the wood, okay, select all, everything changed the material. Now I want to put the door, just drag it in there. My texture door is there. Then take the drawer, my drawer is there. And then if I hit control to pick the countertop, I want to put it back to whatever it was. I just hit that button, countertops. Maybe a light granite, give it something different. And there you go. And that's how you can use any material from any website manufacturer who are making this. That way when you show your, your client, it looks exactly how they expect the job to you know to be. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thank you very much.